Well, after that feeling out matchup in game number one, the intensity should ramp up here in game number two. Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Shot, and that carries off a body in the lane. Quick pass to Gormasco, and he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Back to the point, they set it up. Grand Rapids moves it ahead. Takes a shot, and that's deflected off someone in front. Taken by Dettinger, and he takes a shot, and he makes a save there. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Grand Rapids wins possession right off the clock. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. In all alone. Oh, the lines of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. the pass from one point man to another can't get it to go put this set by Bearbrin and he shuts the door on that and the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here Bearbrin's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone Rafferty's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see what the officials say. The Ice Hogs have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Here's a backhander. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Beardrins won the draw there on the attack. and he does tonight. Grand Rapids has a quick 1-0 lead here in this one, and the home fans are all into it. And they should love it, James, because it's an entertaining brand of hockey. When you're playing fast with a ton of pace, the fans love it. And when you put the puck in the net, it's even better. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Well, listen, a power play, you want to make sure that they're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1, one, one, where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Griffins are across the line and into the offensive end. And then turns off a body in traffic. Green Rapids has it near the wall.
to shine. Across the line, down the left wall. The Ice Hogs have it from their own end. Rockford's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Aston Reese. And it's a quick pass to shine. Jabs the puck away. Directed over to Kaiser. Nice hit on the play there. Scooped up along the wall. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, these below-the-goal-line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck picked up by Allen. Rockford's on the attack. Shot! And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Handles the pass. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Grand Rapids has the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gettinger. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it around along the half wall. And a strong effort on that play. Hutchinson's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Quick shot, blocked in front, and he wins the post! Offensive opportunities, and they don't happen all the time, especially in a tie game, and an opportunity to cash in right there, and it just goes off the pipe and out. Takes it across the blue line. Center and key! Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Rockford's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Well, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead, so they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can sit back and protect it. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Sent into the offensive zone. Healy's got it in the defensive end. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Sorella. Quick pass to Rolston. Here's a shot! Denies him on the play. Picked up along the boards by Lesperance. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Drives to the sweet spot. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Steps into the offensive end. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Luck. Quick feed to Koopman. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hutchinson. Well past the midway mark of this period, Rockford's got a one goal lead. Grand Rapids wins the draw. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Grand Rapids holds the shot advantage here in the first period, yet they still trail in this game. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. And the puck trying to gain a step. Great save! Great pressure on the offensive end by Hiroshi. Quick pass across to Bergren. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. The Ice Hogs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a chance! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Grand Rapids has had some good looks here in this first period, but they still trail. The Ice Hogs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Came up with a nice save. Grand Rapids with possession in their own zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You know, 
almost hear the sighs on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here. James, a tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. The Griffins once again send out their power play unit. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Trying to clear. Kept in at the line as that's blocked. Yeah, it's a tough one for the PK unit. You got it on your stick. You got to find a way to clear. Instead, now you're scrambling to get back to defensive position to try and negate this power play. Hootman's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Who's the puck? Great poke check on the reach. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Oh, what a big time stop by Stubber! Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. The Ice Hogs take possession off the faceoff. Rockford's moving it up the ice. Here's a short pass. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Rockford's got the puck along the wall. And that's blocked away. They're all over the puck here, James. I mean, they're important. They don't even have time to breathe. Pulls the puck into the attacking area. Play is blown dead with the offside. Here in the late goings of the period, the Ice Hogs are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Picked off by Paddock. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. Rockford's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a star. James, I have no idea how we got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Griffins win the faceoff. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with a tired group that they're playing against. And that's broken up. Hutchinson's really impressed me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Rockford's going to have to work quickly here on this man advantage if they hope to strike. The Griffins kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. And there's players on the bench that would kill for that opportunity. Just no urgency whatsoever from that power play unit and didn't generate any momentum. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Rockford's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And they win the draw on their own end. Penalty coming up. Across the line and on the attack. There's the whistle, and here's the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take.
special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Takes the pass. Feeds it down low. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And now he passes up to Tepley. Takes it to the front. Here's a chance to get it out. And they get the job done. Puck grab by Hiroshi. And he uses the glove to keep that out, getting a piece of it. Slots up from the point. Does it again with the stop. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. From behind the net now, he scoops up the puck. Hutchinson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Grand Rapids has put a lot of pucks to the net, and yet they still trail here in this second period. Scoops up the puck here. Grand Rapids gains the zone. And he takes the feed. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. Now a quick pass to Gettinger. Turned aside with the glove by Stubber. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. Look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Goofman's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. Gains the zone from the right. Grand Rapids takes possession of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Takes the feed. Grand Rapids plays it up ahead. Gettinger's got the puck. In close! Comes up with a monster save in front. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Hootman's got it on the offensive end. Moves inside! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. And off the draw, they take the puck. Poked away at center by Tepley. The Griffins move to the offensive zone. Rockford's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. The Griffins played along the boards. Moves it to the middle, and that's blocked in front. Lumpkins got it along the boards. Moves it to Aston Reese. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Misses! Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. Grand Rapids plays it along the wall. Centering pass, and that's stopped. Here's a chance. There's a great just save by Stopper. Oh, man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps the team in it. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Moves it to Paddock. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. 
hunts. They're getting penalized for slashing. The Griffins send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, sometimes it can be frustrating and it can give you energy, and this power play has just been average tonight, James. But the good thing, they have an opportunity. This power play goal is a result of the face-off. I mean, winning possession right away, knowing exactly where that puck is going to go, reading the coverage perfectly for that goal. Grand Rapids leads it by one here in the second. Uh, it's been a competitive back-and-forth game, and sometimes in these games, you gotta grind it out. That's exactly what they did, and they find themselves with the lead. The Griffins win possession here in the open ice. And that's picked up by Sini. The shot dies in the traffic jam. Takes the feed. Grand Rapids plays it against the boards. How did he stop that one? Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Grand Rapids isn't slowing down in this one. They continue to put a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it here in this second. Moves it on over to Paddock. With possession along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Grand Rapids steps inside. Moves it quickly over to Gettinger. And that's intercepted by Kaiser. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes the feed. Breakaway! Oh, this is the net! a tough one, James, when you're in that spot and you're unable to put it between the pipe, but I think he just rushed his shot, and as you can see, it clangs off the end boards. Doesn't go! Takes the feed up ahead. The Ice Hogs play it along the wing. Blocked in traffic. Slides it back to the blue line. Great reach with the poke check. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Johansson's lugging the puck. Takes the feed from the wing. Dumps it into the Ozone. Allen's taking it from his own end. Gains the zone on the left wing. Center it feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. Grand Rapids gets the puck near the boards. Rockford's got control of it. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind and he's going to be the foundation tonight. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 3-2 is where we're sitting. The Griffins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Quick pass to Shine. Grand Rapids has it against the half wall. Here he is on the backhand. The Ice Hogs have played the puck from behind the net. And he serves it across to Allen. Slides it across to Strand. The Ice Hogs carry it along the wall. And he makes a stop with the glove. Quick feed to Healy. Oh, just wide. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. The Griffins have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Grand Rapids has it in their own end. Rockford's got a hold of the puck now. Shoots it! Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Grabbed along the board by Aston Reese. They've got numbers. Shoots it on the front. Oh, and the ball. A chance from the slot. Gets in the lane with the body. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Comes into the paint. Makes the save with the glove. 
Let's get the call here. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. Rockford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. I love when offense is generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck, and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. Rockford's equalizer comes on a lot of hard work here in period number two. The coach will be happy with this performance, the pushback, the fight to claw their way back in late in the second, and this will set them up nicely for the third. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. The Griffins pick up the all-important lead here as we inch closer and closer towards the second intermission. Well, anytime you score on the back half of a period, it certainly creates some much-needed momentum, momentum that you want to carry forward to the intermission, and you can have a lengthy conversation about it and start the third with a bang. And he takes the dish. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Hutchinson. Slides the puck across to Fairbrim. Covers it up, they get a whistle to slow things down. The Griffins have generated plenty of quality scoring chances and a big reason why they lead late in the second period. The Ice Hogs win the draw on their own end. Pass across to Del Astro. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Moves it to Kindai. Here they come. Kindop's gonna play it against the half wall. And that one's denied. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Grand Rapids has the puck here off the faceoff. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Jostled off the puck. And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Well, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments. Are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Grand Rapids is leading in this game, and it looks like a ton of fun. There's a ton of motion all over the ice, but man, the counter attack has been strong as well. Everyone has an answer to the goal, which means this is a high scoring affair. Let's see what the officials are calling. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Grand Rapids is set to go back to work on the power play. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion. Everything seems directed at the net. And he slides it quickly to Strand. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here he is in close! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And that goes off the post and out! Kate's hey, body language says it all right there. He's frustrated. He wants a bounce as the bar has just been getting in the way. The post, you name it, he's unable to convert on the 4x6. Bear Grinch at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Across the line from center. Fires it on net, and that will stop. Big hit, and that frees up possession. And the power play comes up empty, both teams back to even strength. The PK really hasn't been strong, and they looked rattled early in the game, but they seem, seem to have found their feet here, and good habits always come out on the other side. Good job by them. Dishes it to Tepley. Quick shot! Big time blocker stopped by Hutchinson! And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Grand Rapids has created several scoring chances and they lead it here in this third period. Takes the puck. Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. Answer the call there. Griffins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. Gettinger's got it along the wing. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. Oh, great play to use the wall handle in the pass. Great heads up play with the stick by Edmondson. And the puck's booted away. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Right on the doorstep, the rebound there to be had, and they made no mistake about tucking that one home. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have a hard stick, be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. The Ice Hogs get the equalizer, and look at this. With the time of this game, huge, Cheryl. Huge goal with respect to timing as well, James. Not only is it the equalizer, it tells me one thing. They made the adjustments that they talked about in the intermission. A great start to the third. Rockford's looking to break out of their own end. Sends the pass over. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Rockford's got it along the wall. Grand Rapids has possession of it now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Sends it down low. And now he moves it quickly to Strand. Stop that one. Takes it along the wall by Kinder. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Well past the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. The Ice Hogs take possession off the faceoff. Here's the chance. Oh, what a denial by Hutchinson. Great reach with the hook check. Rockford's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the puck. Stop by the goaltender. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Is it 
to Paddock. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Here's a short pass to Tepley. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Rockford's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Moves it quickly over to Kettinger. And he takes the feed. Grand Rapids on the attack. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. He scores! Off the pipe and falls in the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. And he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. Grand Rapids has finally found the back of the net, and they lead by one here in the third. Well, and now it's not just about making the safe play, it's about making the right play, James. If they have the opportunity to attack, attack. If they do not have the puck, protect the middle of the ice, push to the outside, and look to retrieve it. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Kettinger's got it against the boards. Shot! Shuts him down! Quick shot! Denies him again! I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Grand Rapids takes possession along the wall. Takes the feed from his own end. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Del Mastro. Quick pass to Kaiser. Sends it in front. Oh, and he couldn't connect on the play. Quick feed to Kaiser. Oh, oh as it goes off the outside of the post. Gus has got to be so frustrated, James. He's hit the bar a number of times tonight. Just when he thinks it's going to go in, here's the medal. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You've got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Grand Rapids has a chance to really change things on this power play. The power play has been effective tonight, James, and it just has to continue where it left off. Yeah, it's a critical juncture. They just have to keep doing what they've been doing. Moves into the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Moves it to Rafferty. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Gets it out of his own end. Here's a chance in front. Can't connect the play. And now it's grabbed by Baddock. Takes a shot. And that's blocked in traffic. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. Moves it quickly over to Bergren. Here comes the call from the official. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. and you'd sense that the power play unit's feeling the sense of urgency on this one. Power play's been extremely effective tonight, but the pressure is on at this critical juncture. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Kettinger's going off to the box for two minutes. here one less forward to deal with as we have some four on four hockey on tap well at these times of the game with just an average power play tonight it's your best players that have to find a way to perform yeah your heart rate may be elevated but this is the time for the money plays out and kept that one out of the net both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall scooped up along the wall by kaiser strong defensive effort Attack. Play is called for offside. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 
The Griffins are in an offensive battle tonight. They lead it 5-4. Koopmans won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Rockford's got the puck against the boards. Too many bodies in the way. And he slides it quickly to Kaiser. From one end of the blue line to the other. There's another stop. Man, James, just shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. The Ice Hogs can't convert to the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Picked up along the boards by Joe Mastro. Here's a short pass to Tepley. Rockford's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Some great thievery in the open ice. Glove save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Rockford's got the win off that draw. And that pass attempt is deflected. Good read with the stick to break that up. And we got a delayed penalty coming up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. End of the game, and you're trailing by one, and you take the penalty. You have to be real aggressive and jump on any opportunity. Another huge opportunity looming here on the man advantage. save a great a scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop the griffins aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period there's the final board sounding putting this baby to rest now up two nothing in the series cheryl how do you assess the performance so far well, i think it's been excellent you come into a series you got to find ways to get wins and they've done just that they've had good habits they've had good structure and to be truthful, I mean, the opponent's been chasing the game. Well, the game might be done, but these playoffs are far from over. We've got more playoff intensity just around the corner. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Good night, and we'll see you next time.